This week starts on Monday, September 28th. And on Monday, Western Reserve News was at Perry Township and at the Sebring Village Council meeting. On Wednesday, Western Reserve News was at the Salem Township meeting. And on Thursday, Western Reserve News was at the Fairfield Township meeting. And here's a little bit of Mel's Patch and Fix Road Report. Well, as far as what the crew and I have been up to, um, we <coughs> helped the city pave the fire station parking lot, as you might have saw. No, I kept driving by you. <laughs> uh, helped a couple days up there. Uh, we're continuing with our hot mix patching. We're almost done. We just have a little bit to do on Kelly Park from Fairfield School out to 7. And we'll have that all wrapped up. Uh, along with that, we installed um, some culvert and catch basins on Kelly Park out towards Route 7 where the road was give them way and really sinking due to poor drainage. <coughs> on Kelly Farm? <coughs> what road, please? Kelly Farm. <coughs> okay. We actually put about 500 feet of pipe and four catch basins up through there. Hmm. That took a while. And some work. Um, we also extended the parking lot some out here in front of the salt bed to make it easier to maneuver trucks and stock, stock ac ashes. Uh, I've had about 491 ash, tons of ashes delivered. I got about another three to come. I think that's what I remember. Okay. <coughs> uh, we pressure washed, clean, detailed uh, the 2009 and 2013 from blacktop at the summer use when we had some rainy days earlier this week. Fairfield trustees give their approval to outfitting a 2016 truck. Mr. Hunt? Yes. <clears throat> Mr. Miner? Yes. Mr. Garland? Yes. Okay, $15,725? Yes. And Henderson Truck, and I think that's the one I got the paper. It's a new address or something. Yeah, I think there's a new... Uh, yeah, a mailing address or something. Yeah. Where you have to resubmit to, yeah. Right. And this is to outfit the 2016 truck? Correct. Trustee Barry Miner thinks that township employees should have a copay to use their health insurance. Barry? Yeah, the only thing I have, my note vote tonight for the health care was you know, simply that the township doesn't have a copay for their premium. And I've, I've looked at a lot of different entities, and a lot of entities have 10, 15 percent. Uh, you know, we just can't keep incurring those costs as they go up without having a copay. So, that's all I have tonight. Well, I don't think anyone disagrees with you, Barry. It's just, I think we're going to be forced into a situation, because we're going to be backed into a corner. Right. Yeah, it's coming sooner than later. It's just historically we've always... we got good people, and historically we've... Well, and I understand that, but too, in when you look at all the other entities that are paying the 10 and 15 percent, we should not be exempt because we do have good employees and we do pay our employees well and we have top notch health care and we just can't keep incurring those costs. And Fairfield Township trustees gave approval to requests for the Crestview Rebel Race and the annual Halloween Marathon Associations to block off and use township streets and roads for their events. Mal, these races are a compliment to you and the crew because everybody wants to run on your roads now. Yeah. <laughs> They're my favorite roads. There's no potholes. I mean, the berms are nice. <laughs> you brought that into the other road department. <laughs> Mr. Helm? Yes. Mr. Miner? Yes. Mr. Garwood? Yes. On Wednesday, Western Reserve News was at the Salem Township meeting. Salem Township Police Officer...
Dan Valentine says, please lock your vehicles. My little theft from auto issues have moved from the southern portion of the township to the northwestern portion of the township, specifically Perry Grange Road in that particular area. Um, I've contacted the Sheriff's Department again to stay out of patrol. Drug Task Force just asking for help, help, help. Uh, I've been out there again at the, the 2 to 4 morning, to 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Um, continue to keep stopping the, the newspaper person, the garbage trucks, the, just to, 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 to put the lights on. Um, you know, it's, people are pretty upset up there right now because it's new to that area and they've never locked their cars in 30 years and now they got to do it now. Um, but, uh, so we've been focusing our attention there, but like we, you know, they know we're going to go to that area. They're going to move to some other area. Um, so again, I'm just letting you know that the people up there are a little, little upset. Um, they have one incident, you know, one one incident, you know, that hit several houses, but. Uh, um, no, other than they just getting in the cars, is that what they're doing? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, two of the cars were in a, in a garage, but the garage was unlocked. Um, and, and again, um, the one lady that I spoke to, I, I reminded her, I said, I can go back and, and archive the newspaper, but I've been telling you, and it's been, I know Larry's put it in there numerous times about locking your cars, taking your purse out, don't leave things in the vehicle. And, well, I haven't done it in 20 years, why should I start now? I, I've been warning you. I, I, well, you know, I, 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 don't mind if you start it off. Um, so, just, you know, kind of keep you posted on where the incidents are, have been occurring, so I've been focusing my efforts up that way. Salem Township trustees believe that First Energy wrongfully sent a bill for damages. Um, I did receive in the mail a claim invoice in the amount of $1,259.33 from First Energy that the trustees need to either approve for payment or somebody needs to contact First Energy and or Andy Beach, or whatever your mode of cleaning this bill. Well, that's for... It was for Township Road Crew digging a storm ditch when they struck a guy wire, which damaged primary neutral number of the pole number at 4457 Sheely Road. Well, Jason, you didn't do anything to damage their line, right? No. What about the guide wire? I wonder if they're thinking, you know, the missing guide wire? I wonder if they're thinking I broke that off. Well, I remember I found the the piece of auger in the ground bent down in the ditch. Yeah. And I, bro I straightened it back up, hoping they'd take it out of the way. But I wonder if they think I broke that off. It didn't have one on it? No. It barely has a telephone pole standing there. Okay. My boat is no pay. My is okay. well, Salem Township's levy is ready to go. Our road levy is on for the November ballot. That's about all we discussed. And the road levy is a renewal or replacement? Renewal. Point nine. Same thing as yeah. yes, Representative Tim Ginter was once again at the Perry Township meeting. I don't know if you're familiar with the um, the CAP to Connect America fund, the matching fund that was just, um, I believe it was actually September 1st that I was with Josh Monser with CenturyLink. And they have, um, they have a matching grant, they were offered a matching grant that if the major carriers, the companies thus far that are going to be joining this is Frontier, Windstream, Cincinnati Bell, Fairpoint, AT&T, and they are joining the CAF to matching funds equivalent, they're going to put in approximately $59 million in the next six years to um, deploy a minimum of 10 megabyte broadband service to 167,000 rural Ohio locations. Perry Township announces trick-or-treat and leaf pickup. Under new business, trick-or-treat will be observed in the township. <laughs> Saturday, October 
31st, 2015, between the hours of 5 and 7 p.m., the same as the city of Salem. On our old business, the leaf bags of Home Depot, October 17th, to show your driver's license. Leaf pickup will begin November 2nd on the north side of the township for two weeks and then move to the south side of the township November 16th for two weeks. These must be in bags that can be lifted in a truck by one person and be curbside. Sticks and twigs should be bundled separately and will be picked up at a different time. Is there any other old business to discuss? On this, on this uh, leaf bags, the Home Depot is going to be 9 to 2, picking up at Home Depot, and there will be a coupon in your water bill. To go out there, I think you get 20 bags. Uh, Gee, I have a pump. <coughs> I have a pump. I have a well. You'll have to take your driver's license. At the Sebring Village Council meeting, signs have been posted at the gazebo. And now we have to figure out how to get the speed limit set. Signs are up at the gazebo for no skateboarding, bicycles, roller skating, dogs. And that's all we had. Okay, very good. But we're going to plan a meeting so we can get the speed limit thing. Sebring Village Council has a long discussion about the speed limit and how to change it. In Department 9, we enforce that green book, the codified ordinances. And that codified ordinance says it's 25 mile an hour. On all roads. Village. All roads in town. Right now. So we're illegal to 35 or something better up. The speed limit. Who changes the speed limit? Who changes the speed limit in a statutory city? I don't know. You're, um, I don't know. I looked in your charter. I, I didn't come here for a quiz. I apologize, but I, did I didn't. I did too, Teresa. I, I looked did. through the charter. I didn't. I looked in the I, charter. I would agree. It does not say that. It is not a line item that says the manager can change the speed limit. It didn't. It, I looked in the safety service. I looked in it. I looked for who can change <coughs> the speed limit, and it doesn't authorize anybody to do it. That's a legislative. Uh, does this council have the authority to designate certain streets as a 35 mile an hour speed limit? Yes. I would say yes. I would say yes. Yes. I, I feel like, and that says so in there. No. I, I, I'd say yes. We read I don't care how we get this done. Did. Let's just get it done. Okay. That's my goal. Get it done. Get it right, and let's move on. This you should want not to change be, it to 35? This should not be an item that, we, that lingers for months. Oh, oh, I agree. I just, yeah. You I, want to change it to 35? No, we want a 25 on Ohio. Oh, okay. 35 on Johnson and 12th Street. Oh, okay, I, I guess my thought was it is. I would, I would my agree, that, I would agree it that it says that, that the streets inside the village are 25 mile an hour unless otherwise designated or accepted. And my thought would be maybe we would look at where we want 35, designate those 35s, and get it over okay. with once and for all. Okay, so uh, cause, okay, because I was asked to, to research and determine is it 25 miles in the village, and my answer would be yes. Yes, that's what I ask you to do. Okay, because we had a disagreement <coughs> about it. My answer is yes. So you're 25 miles. That's what I do. And what good is a speed limit if it doesn't apply to golf carts? Okay. Okay. Very good. Fair. Fast. Just right. Fast. Please, Chief. Question. <laughs> yes, sir. How many golf carts have been inspected in, in, in past inspections? Oh, three. Three. Three total, yes. This is all about golf carts. Let's be honest about the speed limits in town. Let's all be honest about it. Not mine until the sign comes <clears throat> And? That's it. We're changing, we're changing speed limits for three golf carts in town. <laughs> I can't get mine in town. You will. We got people who don't even follow the law now. And they've been registered. And last night we had one going down 12th Street in a 35 mile an hour zone with no lights on. And he almost got hit by a car. Traffic lights in the Sebring Village will go in the flash mode. Uh, per council request, uh, Henderson Electric was instructed to adjust all the traffic light systems to go in the flash mode every evening from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. I don't know what the matter with that. Not yet. I think he said he had to some boards or something. Sebring asks Smith Township to set their speed limits 
to Sebrings. Um, Chief Everly met with uh, Trustee Smith Town Township Trustee Paul Freer to discuss the changing of the township portion of Johnson Road from 55 to 35 to match uh, Sebring speed limits on that road. So, Chief, I guess it's up to Smith Township at this point. Who the chair, Mr. Mayor, we discussed that they're working on that through the contract. 